and I am the manager here at the Oyster Country. And this is where most of the oyster restoration starts for the state of Maryland. The process starts in February. In February, the water is extremely cold. The oysters really aren't doing much of anything. Um, we bring them into the hatchery and we very slowly start increasing water temperature on them. By doing that, it kind of wakes them up out of their hibernation state and they will start eating. It takes us approximately eight weeks, eight to ten weeks, to get an oyster ready to spawn. So by starting in February, we can start spawning hopefully by April, end of April. And then the next step in the process is to spawn the oysters. So when they're ready to spawn, we will put them on our spawning table. We will, again, increase water temperatures, and hopefully we'll get a good spawn from them. If not, we can do, we have a few little tricks up our sleeves where we can get a spawn. And then the resulting eggs, we will fertilize and put in our big tanks and we will raise them. Once they're in our big tanks, we raise them for approximately three to four weeks. And during that time, all they do is eat and grow. And our goal is to get them to become fat. So there's a three-week larval period. Once they're mature enough to attach to the shell, that's when we introduce them to our outside setting tanks. They will glue themselves to those shells. Now we call them spat, and then we're ready to do our other restoration activities with them. At that point, they're removed from the tank, dumped on the deck of our planning vessel, Robert Lee, which is operated by the Oyster Recovery Partnership, and then we sail to our designated bar area and deploy them over there. The people in the spawning lab are counting the shells from the planning this morning. Uh, once the tanks are dumped onto the deck of the Robert Lee, we get a subsample of those shells. We bring them up here, we examine them underneath the microscope, and we get an average number of spat per shell. Then we can extrapolate that throughout, and we know how many approximately are in each tank. So at the end of the day, those nine tanks will give us 10 million oysters, 15 million oysters, or 2 million oysters. It depends on what the counts. We are doing all this to try to bring the oyster back to the Chesapeake Bay. Not only are they very important filter organisms, they clean up the water, but they also create habitat for many, many other critters that's kind of like a coral reef. If the oysters are there, others are going to come. So it really promotes a lot of habitat and a lot of life and a lot of good Chesapeake Bay flourishing life. Um, and hopefully our babies, once they're overboard, will start spawning as well and help add to the natural population that way. Eventually we would like to have a sustainable fishery and we would also like to have enough oysters overboard so that they really are filtering and cleaning up the bay.